I'm also going to show you a little setup I've done, which is only temporary because I just wanted to show you this. But I have a few photo cells that go on street lights, and I have a base, which all of this I got from Lauren Electrical, by the way. None of these are, these are all dawn till dusk, dusk till dawn photo cells, they're not timed, unfortunately. I could use one of them, actually. And then I have a maintained emergency bulkhead, it's a generic one, VTAC to be exact. Um, nothing special, it is maintained, that's why I've got one of these hooked up to it. Uh, yeah, this one's a, this photo cell is a Oasis 2000 by Royce Thompson. And uh, yeah, I'm going to demonstrate it to you, pretty much, and then test these as well. This, funny fact, this was actually the same photo cell that's on that street light there. It's the exact same photo cell. So I'll test that one in a minute. Um, so let's turn it on now. I have put a battery in it this time around, the emergency bulkhead. I did do a video before this that I, I took the battery out though because I used it as a normal light and, and then a speaker and then... Oh, I actually deleted the video, unfortunately. I've asked to do it again now, aren't I? <laughs> Come on. Gives it, it takes about a minute to fully initialise this. There you go now. One time, one time when a power cut had finished, um, all these street lights were on for about five minutes and then they actually took a turn off. There we go. That, that's it. It's off now. So there we go, that's it in normal mode, and then if I cover it, it comes on. Now, they usually come on about 35 lux, but uh, that photo cell is pretty much working. So I'm going to uh, actually turn this off. That's brighter. I find it funny that it's brighter on the battery than it is on mains power. So this is the photo cell. This is an Oasis 1000, looks a bit more limited, which makes sense, it's a model down in it. Uh, hang on. Right, this photo cell's hooked up now, the Oasis 1000. Let's test this now. This one actually sounds funny, I mean I've tested it already, but I'm going to wait for you to actually hear it in a minute, so it's going to initialise now. Initializing. This is like I haven't tested that one yet, so I don't know which one's loudest. Come on. <laughs> That's loud. That's loud, isn't it? I don't know if I put my hand there. Yep. That is sensitive. Mainly because it's inside and and that but yeah that works let's test the last one it's important that you turn it off every time you mess with one of these it's not particularly safe voltage it's a good way to test that these work actually and then this is the biggest one as well and this was the right here's your details i don't i don't actually know what uh this is it's the S-E-L-C-841 and it's branded by S-E-L-C Yup Selk Let's put it in It's in 3, 2, 1 so It's on already They definitely take some time, don't they? You know, that's, that is loud, just like the one out there. I can hear it from just by the bloody window when I have it open. Testing now. 
It's meant to be warm. It's warm already. My god, that's not gonna work. My god. You've got to be kidding me. Is this one faulty? Right, sorry about the quality. I'm now recording in a lower frame rate because I'm having major storage issues at the minute. Got too many videos to edit. So I'm going to try again. Make, make sure it's proper in there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm waiting. Come on. This frame rate is horrible. 30 frames, really. Come on. Thank you. This one is very slow to respond. Now it better turn off now. Just about the same as what it did. Come on. There we go. What? <laughs> Alright guys, that's it really. Thanks for watching, peace. FINISH!